Welcome to the homework for lesson 16. This is module 2 of grade 1. Write your name first before you forget to do it. You won't remember to do it later. And we're completing the subtraction sentences by using either the count on or take from 10 strategy. And we're going to tell which strategy we used. Now, left to your own, most first graders would just count on every single time. But there are some times, really, where take from 10 is better when you're subtracting numbers that are close to 10. And counting on is better when the numbers you're subtracting are, are close. And the examples, we'll see. You'll see what I mean. So let's look at, for instance, here's number 1. We're looking at 17 minus 9. Now, 17 and 9 are not close together. So counting on is going to be a little more work here. But 9 is really close to 10. So I know there's going to be, right now I'm looking at this, the take from 10 strategy says I'm going to have 1, right, 10 and 7. This is going to have 1 left. So I'm looking at this 7, and I'm going to add the other part to 10 to it. So 7 plus 1, 8. That's really a take from 10 1. 12 minus 9. Now 12 and 9, they're, they're a lot closer together. So you could count that up, right? Because it's just 10, 11, 12. That's 3. Counting on works there. When the numbers are close together, then counting on might be faster. 16 minus 9, those aren't very close numbers. So I'm going to take from 10. 10, 6, or if you want to write it like this, doesn't matter. Well, it makes more sense 10, 6 to put it that way, right? That's where you expect to see it. When you take 9 from that 10, you're going to have 1 left, and then 1 plus 6, 7. And that's take from 10. So and mentally, when you get practice this a little bit more, you'll start to get better at it, and you'll start to see for 16 minus 9, what you'll do is you'll see, oh, well, I know there's going to be this digit left, and I'm going to add a 1 to it, because that's what's going to be left from 9. So I see 16 minus 9, I just see, I just think 6 plus 7 right away. I mean, sorry, I think 6 plus 1 right away, 7. And I know what some people are probably already thinking is that, oh, look, I just add the 1 here to the 6 there, and I get 7. And it's a happy coincidence that it works out that way. Only when you're subtracting 9 does that work. It doesn't always work. So be careful. Don't, don't start using that as a trick. Uh, it's, you're taking from 10, you're going to have 1 left, and you're adding to that 1's digit, because that's what's going to, you're going to have that, always going to have that. When you break up now, 11 and 9, those are really close together. 10, 11, 2. I counted on for that one. Nicholas collected 14 leaves. He pasted 9 into his notebook. How many of his leaves were not pasted into his notebook? Choose the count on or take from 10 strategy to solve. So now what we have to do is draw a picture. 14 leaves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, this is really 14 minus 9, right? So you're going to take 14 and 9 are not all that close together, really. So this is really a take from 10. I would, I'm thinking 4 plus 1 more is 5. So 14 minus 9 is 5. Right, and these are the leaves that were in his notebook. And these uh, were pasted in his notebook, P, and these are the ones that are not. Six. Sheila had 17 oranges. She gave nine oranges to her friends. How many oranges does Sheila have left? 17 and nine are not very close. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. To draw the picture, 9, right? Because I'm taking from this 10 here. There's one left. So that's the 7 from the 17, and one more, 8. 17 minus 9 equals 8. That was, I drew a picture of taking 10. Paul has 12 marbles. Lisa has 18 marbles. They each rolled 9 marbles down a hill. How many did each student have left? So Paul has 12 marbles. Right, so we're going to have two problems here. One for Paul and one for Lisa. Paul has 12 marbles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is going to be 12. They each rolled 9 down the hill, right? 12 and 9 are pretty close. We did that one already, right? 10, 11, 12. That's 3. <clears throat> right? If this is 9, I cross out. Uh, Lisa has 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, almost ran out of room there. And then uh, she's going to cross out 9. And there's going to be these eight plus one more nine. She's going to have nine left. That was 18 minus nine equals nine. Now, for telling which strategy we chose, I'm going to say here. Take from 10. And here I counted, count on. Number eight, just as you did today in class, think about how to solve these following problems and try to explain them to somebody else, your parent or caregiver, like if, if, if it's your, your grandma or your grandpa or an uncle or an aunt. Um, Whoever, uh, somebody at, uh, so whoever's taking care of you, whoever's around that you can explain it to, uh, it, it really helps you to um, get better at math to try to explain how you think about it, if you can. So here we have 15 minus 9. This is going to be, these are not very, I'm just, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a T for take from 10 or a C for counting on next to these. That's what I'm going to do. So 15 minus 9, those are not very close together. So for those, I'm going to take from 10. Well, let's see what it says here. Circle the problems you are easy, you think are easier to solve by counting on from 9. And a rectangle around the ones that are easier to solve using take from 10. So if they're close, I'm going to count on, and I'm going to circle. Otherwise, I'm going to put a box around them. So 11 and 9 are, is pretty close. I'll circle that one. Uh, 18 and 9 are not close. 13 and 9, eh, not all that close. 19 and 9, nope. 14 and 9, I'm not very close. 16 and 9, no. 12 and 9, those are pretty close. I want I can count it from 9. Um, the rest of them, I'm going to box them all. Now maybe this 13 minus 9, that might be close enough. It's likely that if you're on your own and you're just, just beginning to understand take from 10, you would just count on for all of them because you, just, you don't really understand taking from 10 yet. But that's the, the idea is thinking that when they're closer together, that's when you should count on because it's faster that way. But a lot of times they're not going to be that close and you're going to want to think of taking from 10.